Once upon a time, there was casual Friday. Now it's more like casual 24-7 in cities and suburbs, coast to coast, for both men and women. You see it not just on the street, but in offices. If a billionaire CEO like Mark Zuckerberg can wear his hoodie to work, why can't everybody else dress down? Except now it's about more than wearing jeans or something resembling pajamas. It's about workout clothes that have grown up. There's a name for her look, besides gorgeous, athleisure. With or without a body like Beyonce's, in or out of the gym, Americans, American women especially, have made it the hottest thing in the apparel industry. As goes Beyonce, so goes, I would say, any number of trends. That's going to be an image-driven story. So there's Robbie Myers is editor-in-chief of Elle, which put Beyonce, wearing her own athleisure clothing brand, on its May cover. Being athletic and going to yoga or whatever it is that you do is actually a real part of these women's lives. And they like the way they look, they like the way they feel. What about the people who never go near a gym but wear athleisure? The idea that Americans want to be comfortable no matter what they do certainly, you know, has permeated the culture. Where did it all begin? Myers has a theory. You might want to go back to Jane Fonda and the famous workout tape of 1982. Are you ready to do the workout? Athleisure, way before it was called that. In 1998, along came Lululemon with premium priced yoga apparel that took to the streets. Which brings us to 2015. Americans spent nearly $44 billion on so-called active wear, up 16% over 2014. Meanwhile, denim sales have taken a hit, down 5% or more every year since 2013. Athleisure companies such as Fabletics have caught the wave. I think when we started, we realized pretty quickly we were on to something big. But it is very rare to be able to grow a business to $200 million in a space of two and a half years. Geraldine Martin Coppola is general manager of El Segundo, California-based Fabletics, an athleisure line whose co-founder and inspiration is the actress Kate Hudson. I am kind of obsessed with the splatter print. See the leggings? They were the leg up that launched athleisure, for women anyway. What's your best selling item? Our leggings. It's uh, a core essential style that the company was founded on, pads yeah. on it. Sean Kearney is head of design at Fabletics. We update it in great colors, textures, prints, this little more purpley pink. They create whole themed wardrobes. What's gonna be the the wow factor. It's fast fashion. From design to delivery, eight weeks. Oh. Fabletics lives mostly online. Paying subscribers get discounts. New collections are released the first of every month. That's it, that's it, that's it. Nice. But with plenty of incentives in between to lure shoppers. Guys, look at me. Feast your eyes on Jamie and Ken, brand ambassadors no, 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 doing no, no. for the Fabletics blog. Nice, nice, align the feet, perfect. What you do, yeah. right? Poor guy. Okay. Yes. Only in your dreams. <laughs> There's a ton of things happening with the community, perfect. with social perfect. media. We have a, several million followers on Facebook. It's just been easier to talk to the customer. The company has now opened seven retail stores as well. What you notice there, in addition to all the different ages and body types, is high-tech textiles. How big a factor is 
the whole concept of performance fabrics in this whole athleisure revolution. No, it, it, it's absolutely huge. Durand Guion is vice president for men's and kids fashion for Macy's. It's everything from keeping you warm and keeping you cool and whisking away moisture. Think fancy new synthetics with sunscreen in them even. But the magic word is compression, meaning snug and stretchy. You've got the... And you've got that compression pant there. Why are they called compression they pants really... for men and leggings for women? <laughs> because guys wouldn't buy them if they were called leggings. <laughs> they wear them under shorts. But the biggie for men is the lightweight, slimmed-down sweatpant, now known as the jogger. The influencers for men's athleisure? Are really the superstar athletes, the Steph Currys of the world, the LeBron James, the Russell Westbrooks. But athleisure has also made it out of the locker room onto the runway. Here, Alexander Wang for H&M. My real gut on this is that this is something that is here to stay. Oh, I don't think it's a fad. Totally not a fad by any means. It's a complete, complete lifestyle shift. So, athleisure for all? You were talking about leggings, right? So, I mean... Absolutely. <laughs> I'm in.